And the latest developments in the Middle East have created a polarizing approach to how we should respond to our enemies. Here's one America's chief White House correspondent, Monica Page. Three U.S. troops are dead and dozens are injured following the devastating attack over the weekend in the Middle East. Due to this serious escalation, President Biden is weighing his options on how to appropriately retaliate against our enemies. Joining me now to discuss is retired Air Force Colonel Rob Maness. Colonel, thank you so much for joining us. According to the Wall Street Journal, there's a new report that the U.S. failed to stop the attack in Jordan due to confusion over whether or not the drone was ours. So how does something like this happen? Well, some open source reporting, uh, Monica, is saying that the uh, the drone was capable of electronic warfare. So uh, electronic warfare capability means that the drone could electronically mask itself or even uh, do what we call spoof, uh, spoofing the American defense, air defense system and make itself look like uh, it was an American drone uh, on their system so they wouldn't shoot it down. The other issue with that, Monica, is, and even, even more importantly, is that that means if they do have electronic warfare capability on their drones, that the Iranian armed forces have to be directly assisting uh, these militias with uh, operating, maintaining, and launching these drones to their targets uh, because they just don't have the technical knowledge or uh, operational and maintenance uh, uh, capabilities to do that by themselves. Now, Colonel, when it comes to counter efforts, the president's previous responses don't seem to scare Iran or its proxies. Now, this administration is considering a serious range of options on retaliation, from hitting back at the proxies or directly hitting back at Tehran. So how should the president approach this situation? Well, first of all, he needs to change his rules of engagement because it certainly looks and sounds like the, the troops on the ground, the commanders there are not allowed to respond when they're fired upon because uh, the commander of that base and the commander of those forces of that base are in the surrounding area should be able to attack whatever forces uh, have attacked them. And if they've confirmed where that attack came from, they should have already done that. Number two, we should have already had a plan ready to pull the trigger on immediately to do a massive response if an American got killed by the Iranian militias or the Houthis or the Iranians themselves. And we obviously did not. It's got to be powerful. It's got to be fast. And you got to do two things. You got to destroy the Iranian Navy completely, and you have to destroy these militia forces, all of them that are attacking American forces immediately and continue that force on force engagement until they are completely destroyed and eliminated so that this does not happen again, because this is our last opportunity. Well, exactly. Let's talk about that. We've seen, you know, Lindsey Graham call for direct strikes on Iran. What are the potential risks involved with hitting back at really the head of the snake here? Well, it, again, it depends on how we do it. They've ended in utter failure, both strategically and tactically and cost countless American and allied troops' lives that uh, were needlessly sacrificed. So uh, so that's number one. Uh, number two, uh, you know, if we're talking about attacking uh, military capability and destroying it, uh, that's where I'm coming from. We have to go after these militias completely instead of this plinking and tit-for-tat operation, because they're obviously not going to stop what they're doing unless they're taken off the battlefield. And Colonel, before I let you go, what do you call it when government officials help to fund the Iranian proxies who killed our troops? I call it uh, ridiculous, as a matter of fact. And uh, that's my biggest problem with both Barack Obama and Joe Biden and their administration and their belief system and their ideology it's completely un-American. They have funded this. Uh, they've enabled this. And they continue in it to enable it by not responding in the kind of force and methodology that it's going to take to completely get Iran back into a deterred mode instead of feeling free enough to attack our forces and now kill Americans, even though I know they're denying it. Retired Air Force Colonel Rob Maness, thank you so much for joining us here on One American News. We always appreciate having you on. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. 
Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.